Hello everyone, I'm Evan Winger and this is Sports and Politics. David Denson is a 20-year-old baseball player who is working for a team in short season Class A baseball, which is a million miles away from Major League Baseball. But Denson, who is a member of the Milwaukee Brewers organization, has told the baseball community and the world he is gay. It's not a big deal, except no one in baseball has ever made that announcement before while wearing a uniform as an active player. But the times are changing, whether certain politicians want to admit it or not. The generation that will ultimately replace the baby boomers in power is far more accepting of David Denton, Michael Sam, and Jason Collins and their elders. This was quite evident in Indiana this past spring, as Indiana Governor Mike Pence found out after putting his signature on the Religious Freedom Restoration Act, a law that allowed Indiana business owners to refuse a customer service if they believed that person infringed on the owner's religious beliefs. Sports and businesses came out denouncing the bill. Pence reversed his field, and Indiana fixed the bill. Sports leagues are going to great lengths to make sure everyone is included because discrimination could mean a loss of money. Younger people as a whole don't see someone being gay as a stigma. The Milwaukee organization claims it will view Denson like any other player, and Denson has a long way to go in making a big league roster. He's years away from getting an opportunity to be on Milwaukee's 40-man roster. The times they are changing, and at some point, players are not going to come out as gay because there will be no need to do so. The stigma is slowly fading, even if some politicians want to hang on to the past and push discriminatory laws on people's lifestyles they don't accept.